This is Cindy Manier from Aduda Book Creator. In this video, I will show you how to use our geometric coloring page tool. To get to the tool, click on Activity Books Geometric Coloring Page Tool. The first thing you should do is set your trim size. I'm going to go with an 8x10 size book. You can also adjust the line width if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it on 0.5 for now. I'll show you a little bit later how that makes your designs change. You can also set how many pages you want to be generated. I'm just going to go with 10 to start. You can choose between circles, squares, triangles, and or lines for your designs. To give you an idea of how this tool works, I'm going to start by just having one circle. And I'm going to set the rotations to two. Notice that it says about how many next to the circle, squares, triangles, and lines inputs. The tool will take plus or minus one of the number you put in there, so it adds a little bit of randomness to the designs that it creates. To get your PDF, click on Download PDF. Here's the one that was generated from these inputs. If you look at this design, you can see that there are two circles that are reflected two times on the design. The size of the circles and the placement of the circles are randomized for each design that gets created in your PDF. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you change the rotation to 9. So it'll be rotated around the design 9 times instead of 2 times. To get some designs that are a little more interesting, let's have one circle, one square, one triangle, and one line. Let's see what that looks like. Now let's look at having two of each of the shapes. You can increase the line width so that your lines are bigger. I'll show you what that looks like. You can also decrease it to make your lines smaller. And here's what that would look like. If you can include a lot of shapes, in this example I'm going to use four for each one of them. The designs get really complicated and kind of messy, so you probably want to keep the number of shapes you're using to a small number. If you do want to have a large number of of shapes, you want to reduce the number of rotations. So this is what it looks like with two rotations instead of four, like in the previous example. This example I'm going to use five triangles and five circles rotated twice. Here's an example with five squares and five triangles rotated twice. And here's what it looks like if we take the same five squares and five triangles and rotate them four times. As you increase the number of rotations, you can see the designs get more and more complicated. Here it is with those five triangles and squares rotated nine times. You can reduce the complexity by lowering the number of squares and triangles, so I'm going to move them to three, and here's what that looks like. You can change what your designs look like by switching around how many of each shape you include. So this time I'm going to use one square and five triangles. Again, I can reduce the complexity by changing it to six rotations and see what that looks like. This last example, I'm going to do two squares and two triangles rotated six times. If you have any questions about how this tool works, please leave a comment below or ask them in our Facebook group. 